Okay, in this lesson, section 2.5 is on absolute value inequalities, and this is example one. We're going to do three examples here, and I'll start with a, um, a more simpler one, and we'll get into uh, some more difficult ones. Uh, we're going to solve symbolically, and to solve symbolically means we're going to use algebra on paper. So remember what uh, an absolute value means. It means that all of the stuff inside of here, if it is positive when it's inside, after it comes out of the absolute value signs, it is still positive. If inside of there is negative, in other words, if I put different things in for x, and then I subtract it from 5, and so if it turns out it's negative, once I take the absolute value of that, it turns out to be positive. So that's what absolute value means. Let's get rid of those things there. Okay. So we're going to solve that this symbolically using that information. Alright, so because I have two choices, it can be positive or negative, that means I'm going to have two equations to solve. So right away I make my arrows because I'm going to make two different equations to solve. One of them is going to be if the inside of the absolute value is positive. The other one is going to be the second case, or the second piece, is if the inside is negative. So let's start with the positive side first. So that would just be 5 minus x is greater than 2. Let's go ahead and solve that. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides. So we have a minus x greater than minus 3. And this really means, uh, let's change really means that there's a negative 1 times x here. Let me make that a little clear so you can see that. Because that's what a negative in front of there means. It really means negative 1 times that. Okay, I'll switch back to the green. So if this is a negative 1 times an x, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is 3. But what happens to this sign when I divide by a negative, or multiply by a negative for that matter? I switch signs. So remember to switch signs there. Okay, let's move over to the other piece if it was negative inside of there. So the way that you do that is this kind of looks like, here, I'm going to move up here for a minute. It kind of would look like all the stuff inside was negative. So those are parentheses. I'm dropping the absolute value. Remember, all that stuff inside could be negative. So I got a negative in front of it. And again, that's a negative 1, so I'm going to divide by negative 1. You won't have to do this part after a while. I'm just showing you how it works. So see how the right-hand side becomes negative 2? And because I divide by a negative, then I switch the signs. So if you just start right here as a shortcut, Notice this 5 minus x is exactly what's inside of here. But notice the sign is switched, and the right-hand side becomes negative. Um, but I should say its sign is switched, because I switched the sign. Okay, so let's solve this. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. Minus x is less than minus 7. Divide both sides by negative 1. x. Remember, I divide by negative 1, so I switch the sign. Negative 7 divided by negative 1 is positive 7. Okay, so what does this look like on the number line? Here's my number line. Here's 7. Here's 3. Let's analyze this. Okay, so this piece right here says x less than 3. So less than means open circle, um, as opposed to less than or greater or equal to. And then we just shade this area to the left. And remember that goes on to negative infinity. The right-hand side, x greater than 7. So again, open circle there. Greater than means it goes to the right. We'll shade that, make an arrow. And again, it goes all the way to infinity. So how would I write this in interval notation? Let's go right down here. Let's change color. All right, so to solve, after we solve this symbolically, we're going to write our solution in interval notation. 
So this statement is true from negative infinity up to, but not including 3, and from 7 up to infinity. So that's how we would write the solution for that.